Good morning, good morning. This is Elisha Maide again. Welcome to Redemption Prayers. Day 5, day 5. This was supposed to be a live broadcast, but somehow the network where I am right now presently is impossible. It's highly, highly impossible. Um, it's not even connecting at all. I typed coming online exactly um, a little bit before 9, struggling with the network. It kept cutting me off. So I said, okay, let me just do a recording and, um, and send it out. Praying and believing that that we also drop quickly because the broadcast of yesterday, I wanted my Instagram followers to partake of the message and the blessings in it. Um, that, uh, that video is still on, trying to drop since yesterday. Uh, that is really horrendous. So today, um, I'm back online again um, here. Um, I want to share the day five message, prayer message of uh, the redemption prayers that I said um, would take six days. Um, I started this broadcast on the 1st of January. So today is the 5th. It's going to end tomorrow by the grace of God. And I believe um, if you have been following me and you really um, pray these prayers or go back to it later, you will understand that um, you are doing a great justice to yourself because these prayers will lay your foundation for the whole year 2021. And I pray that God bless us immensely this year in Jesus' name. So I've been talking so much about the light. We are the light. We are the light of the world. We are the light. So darkness cannot overcome us. Darkness cannot overwhelm us. Darkness cannot cover the glory of God upon our lives up. Darkness cannot do that because our the life in us is the light of God. Our life is that light. So that means everything we are is light. We were perfected as light before we were created into physical human beings. So our light, I, de I decree and I declare that our light will shine forth strongly this year in Jesus name. The light of everything that we stand for and represent here on earth will shine forth. Nothing will be able to dim our light this year in the name of Jesus. So um, before I go further, let us pray again. Oh my let's kobo kotaish amukundali da kaba kotala handa kamoko sele hira tosh imigenda hik amukotali rebukosaya. Father, thank you for the day five of this redemption prayers. I come again under the covering of the blood of Jesus. Malir Abukosinga Talir Amukotali Rabukoshaya. The blood of the Tana Covenant. The blood that conquers Satan, the blood that spoiled principalities, the blood that spoiled powers, the blood that made an open show of the enemy. Malid Akamush Indas Kelid Akotolid Akabaish Amukotalahanda. And Jesus Christ triumphed over them all on the cross by the reason of the shedding of his blood. I come under the covering grace and the power of the blood of Jesus by the power of the Holy Ghost. Makandalit amus ilish ahabayada means katosh ukotalish imiketalish ekendos. Holy Spirit, I ask that you give me great utterance for this broadcast again this morning. You help me with um, expanding your words, O Lord God, so that your people, their hearts will be open to receive and to run with it for this new year in Jesus' name. I ask that these words will bless every ears. That hear, that hear it, and um, anyone under the sound of my voice, that our lives will not remain the same again this year, in Jesus' name. Amen. So welcome to Redemption Prayers Day 5. I'm not going to do a recap on yesterday's message, hoping that will drop later on today, I pray. If not, I might have to change my location to go to make sure I send out all the messages. So um, today's scripture, I'm going to take from the same book of Genesis, um, which are all our main texts for this uh, broadcast. All the main texts that I'm using for this broadcast is in the book of Genesis chapter 1. So I'm starting today from verse 20. And God said, let the waters bring forth abundantly 
the moving creation that add life. Today's message is going to be very, very interesting. So I want you all to be very attentive. And God said, let the waters bring forth abundantly the moving creature that had, that had life. And fowl that may fly above the earth in the open firmament of the heaven. And God created great whales and every living creature that moved, which the waters brought forth abundantly after their kind. And every winged fowl after his kind. And God saw that it was good. Please note that there is nothing that God created that was not good. Everything in the waters was good. Everything, the plants, the herbs that they put on, on the face of the earth is good. Everything, as God was, you know, commanding the earth to yield the different sort of what we need by the time he creates us. After creating every area, he will say, and God saw that it was good. <laughs> I love this. The waters, everything he put in it, God saw and God saw that it was good. He was commanding the, 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 the waters to bring forth abundantly the moving creation that had life. And found that may fly above the earth. He began to command that fowl, birds, everything will begin to fly above the earth. And God created great whales and every living creation that moved. Which the waters brought forth abundantly everything in the water god commanded them to be brought forth and god saw that it was good verse 22 and god blessed them god blessed them saying be fruitful and multiply and fill the waters in the seas and let fowl multiply in the air amazing so if you will you know look at the waters the waters is what we address as the marine kingdom our kingdom here on earth is the human kingdom and in the human kingdom there are different spheres of human living so when we talk about the marine kingdom the marine kingdom is actually good created to be good that's why the bible says in the book of psalm 24, he said, the head is the Lord's and the fullness thereof, the world and they that dwell therein. For he has founded it upon the seas and established it upon the floods. God founded this whole earth on the seas and he's established it upon the floods. Everything about this earth belongs to our God. Everything is good. But what happened is that the enemy, the enemy has corrupted all of these things. So when we talk about the marine kingdom, when people hear that they are afraid, the marine kingdom, the marine kingdom is just a kingdom of animals in the waters. Just like we are here on earth. It's another type of kingdom. The kingdom of Jesus is another type of kingdom. The kingdom of darkness is another type of kingdom. That's why the Bible says we're translated from the kingdom of darkness into the kingdom of the Son, Jesus Christ, the light, into the kingdom of light. So, the marine kingdom, the heavenly kingdom, and everything that we are here on earth, Everything, God, it belongs to God. He created it good. But the enemy came in to corrupt all of those things. Everything in the waters has been given to us to dominate. To be a blessing to our world. To be something that we can desire to eat or to play with. As we want at any time. For the Bible also tells us that God created all things. All things for his pleasure. He created the whales in the waters. He created the dolphins that can jump up and play with us and excite us from the waters. He created all the marine kingdom animals. The way the enemy 
came here on earth to corrupt human lives, that you will see them um, doing what they ought not to do, especially when people are full of the acts of the flesh. That is a corruption from the pit of hell. The same way the enemy went into the waters to corrupt the animals, to corrupt everything that God has put in there and created another dark kingdom in there and started using it to influence the world negatively. This area interests somebody like me greatly uh, because I have a testimony in this regard, but that is not for this broadcast. So I'm authorized, Mahandas Kalish, Ikerelish, Ikemosh, to address this issue. Because right now, everything that God created in the waters, He created on the fifth day in the foundation of this earth. So I am laying a foundation for us through this scripture for our lives concerning this year. Because I understand that a lot of troubles that humans are facing presently <laughs> are by the reason of a lot of corruption coming from the marine kingdom because the earth was created upon the waters. Nations are being troubled by the reason of corruption. Powers coming from that realm. Families are being troubled by the reason of corruption, of powers operating for that, from that realm against families. Communities have been destroyed because of corrupted powers operating from that kingdom. Just like a lot of powers are operating here on earth. That's why a lot of Africans don't like um, cards that much because Africans generally believe that cards have been corrupted. They are animals that a lot of witches uses. Please don't come against me. Don't judge me. That is a lot, you know, a strong African belief. But it's not everybody that, uh, that believes in that. A lot of Africans have cats as pets. And it's not all of them that carries the witchcraft spirit. But majority of Africans don't actually like cats, really. So that is the sort of corruption I'm actually talking about. So right now, I'm just going to give us a little bit of an eye-opener as light. Because the Bible says we are the light. We will illuminate our dark world. So... If anybody goes to the marine kingdom <laughs> seeking powers, you are actually communicating with evil spirits that have corrupted animals. You are receiving instruction about your life, your destiny, your nations, your community, your family from animals that have been corrupted by fallen spirits, fallen angels that possessed animals that is the truth that is the reality just like that those same spirit come to possess human beings and human beings start acting out of order behaving the way they ought not to behave it is just the same way so god has given us all of these things for us to dominate we are to dominate every sphere to dominate the waters, to dominate the animals, to dominate the earth. He has given us dominion authority. He called us kings and priests. Once you are a believer and you have been translated from the kingdom of darkness into the kingdom of our Lord Jesus Christ, the light, the son of God. So 
If you as a king, malir akanos amalir akamaish akamolesh, as a king and a priest now goes to lesser powers that corrupted animals, and you subject your life, you subject your destiny. You begin to bow to them. Then corruption will totally take over your life because you are actually supposed to dominate that realm. So what are you going into a kingdom and be bowing to animals corrupted by evil spirits? The animals that are supposed to be food for you. <laughs> The animals that you are supposed to dominate. The animals in the waters that are supposed to be subject to whatever you want to use it for. And some evil spirit now built another kingdom in that realm. Actually, the marine world is just the marine world. That is what it is. That name marine does not constitute any evil. The marine kingdom is marine water. That is what it is. But the evil kingdom that has gone to take habitation in that realm, that is what has made that area the kingdom of darkness. Anywhere can be the king kingdom of darkness. You can be inside your home. And once darkness locks there, you are in the kingdom of darkness. You can be belong to an occult. Once darkness locks there, you, that is kingdom of darkness. If you be, belong to a witchcraft coven, that is the kingdom of darkness. And you can be meeting in the corner of your streets. You are locked up in darkness. But meanwhile, we are the light. We are the light. Every human being God created to be light. If you have not discovered who you are as a light, that means you are still living in darkness. Your life has just been corrupted. So you are not able to come into the fullness of who you are in God. Every living soul was created as light. There's an element of God dwelling inside of you. All you need to do is to understand the power that dwells in you. You are supposed to rule those spirits that you are going to bow down to in all of those realms, in all of those kingdoms. The earth is the Lord's, and he handed it to the Son of Man. He handed it to you and I. The head is the Lord's, and the fullness thereof, the world and they that dwell therein. For he, have, he has founded it upon the seas, and established it upon the floods. This whole earth was created upon the waters, and we are supposed to dominate it. So today I pray, by the power of dominion, that anyone mal lir ha tos a mahanda kamukotali hiratosh in a high in a toloch that is in bondage and you have not realized your true identity in God as light that he pronounced even from that foundation and that he said that is who you are in him. Today I ask that the greater light that we are. We enter your life even as you are listening to this broadcast and you'll be set free in Jesus' name. You'll be set free from every form of darkness in the name of Jesus. You will be delivered in the name of Jesus. Nations will be delivered in the name of Jesus. Families will be delivered in the name of Jesus. Communities will be delivered in the name of Jesus. If you're a believer and you understand this realm that I'm talking about, please join forces with me and just speak in the spirit. Pray in the tongue. That is why it is so easy for the spirit from the marine kingdom to influence nations, to influence communities, to influence uh, families, to influence systems because the head was created upon the seas. It was created upon the seas, but Satan has deceived them, you know, the sons of men, not letting them understand their identity in God, that they are the light. They are the ones that have the dominion power to have control, subdue all of these lesser powers. Let me show you something quickly in the book of Psalm 8. 
you know, to just buttress the power and authority we have to control all of these realms. Verse, you know, Psalm 8 verse 3 says, When I consider thy heavens and the work of thy fingers, the moon and the stars which thou hast ordained, he has the, he's the one that created all of these things. He says, verse 4 says, What is man that thou art mindful of him? And the son of man that thou visited him. For thou had made him a little bit a little lower than the angels, and hast crowned him with glory and honor. <laughs> God has crowned you with glory and honor. Crowned me, crowned all of us. You know, that we are just a little bit lower than angels. Even angels are subject to our command. The only reason that the Bible says. Uh, we, we, you know, we are just a little bit lower than angels. It's their supernatural ability and the operations of the dimensions that God has given to them that we don't have. So, but because they have that, we have the authority to direct their affairs, control them concerning our lives. Just ask God to tell them to do one thing or the other for us. They are our servants. They are ministering spirit to the heirs of salvation. As a believer, we are an heir of salvation. We are joint heirs with Jesus Christ. So the angels are subject, you know, to us. Verse 6 says, let me repeat that verse 5, so powerful. Psalm 8 for thou hast made him a little lower than angels and has crowned him with glory and honor. God has crowned us with, with so much glory and honor. Why will any human being go to subject themselves to lesser powers in, you know, in the marine kingdom or in any other kingdom of darkness? Verse says, Thou had made him to have dominion over the works of thy hands. <laughs> God has given us dominion over every works of his hands. Thou has put all things under our feet. So, right now, in the name of Jesus, I'm going to pray. And I want you to pray along with me in the spirit if you can. Every power troubling my life from under the sea, troubling my family, troubling my home, troubling my marriage, troubling my children, troubling my education, troubling my business, troubling my, 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 my ministry, troubling my finances, troubling my health, troubling my, my well-being. I, I, I dominate you at this hour. I exercise dominion authority over you. By the power of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus, I subdue you in the name of Jesus, and I shine the light of God upon you, and I command you to recede. I command you to disappear. When light comes, darkness disappears. By dominion authority, we subdue every power. Harassing families. Harassing us individually. Harassing anyone concerning business. Concerning any area of our health. Concerning ministry. Concerning finances. Concerning communities. Even nations. Every power from the marine kingdom, because this is the sixth day, a uh, fifth day, sorry, that, the fifth day God created the waters, commanded the waters to begin to yield all of the creatures in it. Whales. Big fishes of all kinds, every animal that dwells in the water. They are just mere animals. So today we are going to command them in our lives to remain inside that water as animals. Because that's what God created them to be. Every other power that is using them contrarily 
we bind them, we subdue them by the power of the Holy Ghost. We stop the operations in our lives and our families and our nations in the name of Jesus, especially this nation, Nigeria. In Jesus' name. He said, Thou made him, that is verse 6, to have dominion over the works of thy hands. Thou hast put all things under his feet. Remember, we are seated in the heavenly places in Christ Jesus. Seated in Christ Jesus with God inside Christ by the right hand, right hand side of God. Far above, above principalities, far above powers, far above spiritual wickedness in high places, far above thrones, kingdoms, and dominions. Malira kondas king and those in that means they are under our feet. So, how does something that is under our feet come and sit on our heads now? We are not exercising enough dominion authority. So, today we address all of these kingdoms, we address all of these dominions wherever they have strongholds in our lives. Oh, Malita tosa mukosha in gatali bush, we command them to stay where they belong. Under our feet. Under our feet, we subdue them by the power of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus. Begin to pray these prayers round about all that concerns you. Every power that is troubling your child, subdue that power. Command that power. Stay under my feet. That is where you belong. Because I am seated in the heavenly places in Christ Jesus. Far above principalities, far above powers, far above thrones. Far above, above kingdoms, the marine kingdoms, occultic kingdoms, the dark kingdoms. Far above all of these things, we are seated in Christ. And the Bible says they are under our feet and he has put all things under our feet. So every power, begin to pray for yourself. I'm praying for myself right now. Every power that is troubling my life, that is troubling my children's life, that is troubling my home, that is troubling my ministry. That is going against my businesses. That is coming against my finances. My lirado shayaga. My ministry. Everything that God has ordained my life to be. I subdue, I subdue you right now in the name of Jesus. I trample upon you. I command you to stay under my feet where you belong. And I command you not to rise up against me and anything that concerns me again in life. In Jesus name. I enter the fullness of God's purpose for my life and my destiny. I hope you are praying same for yourself. Because anything that will hinder you this year, use your mouth to pronounce it, that it cannot be so. It cannot have, it does not have that authority. We have dominion authority. So no kingdom, whatever that kingdom that it is, whether in your streets, whether household wickedness, you know, dark kingdom, whether uh, um, um, organizational dark kingdom, whether religious dark kingdom, whether um, state dark kingdom, whether township dark kingdom, whether you found yourself in an association of relationship that has put you in darkness, wherever you are right now, begin to exercise your authority as light. I illuminate every dark area of my life. In my household, I ask that the light of God begin to shine through and break the hold of any form of dominion, every form of throne, every form of kingdom. Be broke, that kingdom be broken right now and be vanquished forever. In the name of Jesus, when light comes, darkness disappears. When light comes, darkness disappears. By the power of the Holy Ghost, I release the fullness of the light of God. That is my life. His life is that light in me. So I release it into my household. Begin to pronounce that. I release it over the lives of my children. Their interest in life. Everything that concerns them. Everything that concerns me. I release it in this environment where I live. I release it into this neighborhood. In the name of Jesus. I release it into the city where I dwell in. In the name of Jesus, this Lagos state, I release it upon my nation, Nigeria. Let your light so shine. He said, we are the light of the world and the salt of the earth. Let our presence begin to heal every areas that need to be healed in our homes, in our businesses, anywhere we, we step our feet into. 
let the righteousness of God begin to, you know, go forth through us. Begin to be an influence in everything we have contact with. In the name of Jesus, we ask for a radical change this year in everything that is dark in our household. Everything that is dark in our lineage. We light, we put the touch light of God into those areas and we command every form of darkness to be vanquished forever. In the name of Jesus. Oh, Malira Tosa Mahindas Kabo Shain Dakali Arbosh. Malira Tosh, Malira Tash Imeida Dosh. So this year is a new day, it's a new order. No power from the waters, no power from the seas can, can, can influence or possess our lives or influence anything in our household. We, 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 we break every such strongholds of the enemy. In the name of Jesus, Malira Kandas Kelehira Dosha, Makandolish Ekemukotalish, because we have dominion authority. Listen, li- 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 listen to, to this in verse, in verse uh, 8 of uh, the book of Psalm 8. Verse 8, it says, He has given us dominion authority over the fowl of the air and the fish of the sea, everything. And whatsoever passeth through the paths of the sea. So whatever spirit has gone into the sea. And is possessing the animals that are supposed to be of a blessing to our world. To be meat for us. To be playthings for us. To give us pleasure in whatever way we wanted to give us. You know, in line with God's command. Whatever has passed through that sea. And it's now using those same, those same blessings that God pronounced into the waters to, for us to have dominion over. Now starting to use it against us. Today, we exercise our dominion authority and we take what belongs to us back in the name of Jesus. Any influence of the enemy in our, in our space of influence, any space of influence you are in life, you can imagine if how many of us that are light in any environment, in any neighborhood, in any city, in any nation, begin to take lost grounds that belongs to us. Take the marine kingdom. Take the government. Take the, take the airwaves. Take everything that God has given to us to dominate. We will shake off the presence of the enemy in all of these areas, and we enjoy all that God has created us to have in him, in the name of Jesus. Verse 9 says, O Lord our God, how excellent is thy name in all the earth. (laughs) How excellent is the name of our God, that he created all of these things, and he gave us dominion over them all. So we need not to be afraid of these things. You know, when it comes to the issue of the marine kingdom, a lot of people are confused. They think that belongs to Satan. No, it belongs to us. It's that, that marine is called water. It's a kingdom under the sea. The enemy just went in to corrupt it and start giving to us what belongs to us by making sure Ilios people into sin it corrupts their lives it made it makes them to hand over their souls to him promising them what god has already given to us that is for us we're hereby making men lose their soul so i'm using today's broadcast as you know a reminder of who we are in christ and if you fall into the category of going into the marine kingdom to seek power, to seek help, help, to seek wealth. Satan will corrupt everything about your life, your destiny, your glorious destiny that God has given to you. Everything is given to you is a lie. There's no power there. It's the power of the enemy. He's giving back to you what belongs to you, but he will not corrupt it so that he can claim your soul to take to hell with him. So today, in the name of Jesus, I pray 
that by this broadcast your eyes will be open malir aosh ingatalish amakadlaish imikinda hai amukutalish mahinda skobosh elohim kedoshim the holy god by the power of the holy ghost we open your eyes of understanding by the reason of this broadcast that the marine kingdom is a dark kingdom it does not have any power to give to you it will only corrupt the blessings that god has pronounced upon you for you to have dominion authority when he created the waters he commanded the waters to bring forth what will bless you what will bless me the way the enemy comes to corrupt human being under the open heavens on earth that is how the same way he went to corrupt animals so you are talking to spirits true animals in the marine kingdom he cannot offer you any help it will only corrupt your life so repent today you know how can you be a king you're a king a king and a priest you will not go to a lower kingdom to lower yourself submit your life and they will not be calling you one prince of something my god my god they have robbed you of your identity they have reduced who you are in god but god is merciful god is merciful god is faithful he will not cast you out when you repent he will not cast you away when you come running to him so by the reason of this broadcast you can repent and say lord i was blind but now i can see holy ghost i'm asking you in the name of jesus that this broadcast will be an eye opener as a light that i am let it illuminate lives let it open their eyes of understanding let let them understand that you've given everything to us as a blessing that there's no other god under heaven except you jehovah in the name of jesus you are the only god the creator of heaven and earth for you said in the beginning was the word the word was with god and that is jesus and the word was god and you said there's nothing that was made that was not made by him and for him so if you go to any kingdom seeking power seeking wealth seeking riches you are only handing over your glorious destiny for evil spirit fallen angels to inhabit and pollute your life just ask god to open your eyes to who you are in him let's let him show you how glorious your light is and i pray in the name of jesus if you are in such bondage god will deliver you today after watching this broadcast your life will not remain the same the power of elohim the power of elohim we deliver you the power of the holy god will deliver you in the name of jesus elohim kadoshim in the name of jesus by the power of the holy ghost i ask that righteousness will begin to speak into the lives of people that are under bondage in the dark kingdom and they will return back to you because every life has your blight every life has your breath so god deliver your people redeem them back because this is redemption prayers so i pray everything that has kept you in darkness everything that has kept your family in darkness everything that has kept the glory of god in your life in darkness everything that has kept your finances your business your destiny that, that has shamed you up will not go further with you into this 2021 in the name of jesus arise and shine for the light has come the glory of god has come upon you this morning by this broadcast so receive it and be set free in jesus name just say god forgive me I was ignorant. Have mercy upon me. Deliver my soul from the kingdom of darkness. Translate my life 
into the kingdom of light, the kingdom of your dear son, Jesus. Help me to be born again. Redeem my life back in Jesus' name. Father, thank you. For as many that have received this message and prayed this simple prayer, Holy Spirit, please move with them. Have mercy upon them. Deliver them in Jesus' name. And help us all through this year. Let your light shine through into 2021 with us all. In Jesus' name. Thank you, blessed Redeemer. I cover my life, my family, and everyone that have received this message with the blood of Jesus. In Jesus' name, I've prayed. Amen. God bless you. So that is it for the broadcast of today. Everything he has given to us in that, you know, book of Genesis. And I took it from verse 20, Genesis 1 verse 20. And I'm ending it with 23. Let me go back to 22. He says, and God blessed them, saying, be fruitful. He blessed everything he put in the waters, everything he put on earth. He said, he blessed them, saying, be, be fruitful and multiply. He blessed them for us to use, to dominate. You know, and fill the waters in the seas and let fowl multiply in the earth. And the evening and the morning were the fifth day. So I pronounce this blessing back into your life on this fifth day. Every blessing that God has given to us as human beings here on earth, as the light, as the light of the world and the enemy has corrupted, I ask that God will redeem back to us all in Jesus' name. This is redemption prayers. This is as I was led by the Holy Ghost. So I, so many people might take this for granted, but if you dare follow this broadcast, if you missed it, I'm going to try to post everything online later. And I pray it drops quickly. It will be a blessing to set a new course for your life this year, 2021, in Jesus' name. God bless you. Have an amazing year. Have an amazing year. In Jesus' name. Amen. Bye.